diamonds on my neck like I'm before 550 with Leon door All these girls on my tattoos I ain't a player but I had to We up, we up, we up, we up A City Boy Podcast Welcome back, YouTube, to another City Boy Podcast. We, we up, up, we up, up we up. up. Yes, sir. You know the deal. Back with another one. It's your boy, City. Man, the guys missed me last week, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what up, man? It's your boy out. You already know that, though. Kid coming off that playground. I heard. Oh, you seen? Bro, you want to know something funny? <laughs> He said he was going to be outside. Hey. And I oh, was I looking see, for him. I didn't, I didn't see him, him with no camera. No Saturday, no Sunday. Exactly. Where I was like, was bro, where antenna? he at? He, hey. You had enough on Friday? I was tired. <laughs> you had enough on Friday because oh, y'all. Yeah. How, how I don't get a ticket? How I don't get a wristband? <laughs> What's going on here, man? What's going on here? All these smiles, what, but what, boy. I only got to live through y'all through the video. So, man. boy. Touch on it because uh, uh, Friday was what the pool party. Yeah, DJ this was the first weekend party. for CWS. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's been a very, very active City Boy weekend. Very sure. intriguing yes. City Boy weekend. Active, real active. Got some shit to say too. Yes, Man. sir. <laughs> but the pool party. Wait, what what, what, what? what? Granddad said off of Friday. He said that big old booty. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> My ball going one way. Johnson going the other. Mm. Ball Johnson. Then boy, <laughs> good googly moogly, bro. Man, man. I opened my snap and dropped my phone. <laughs> oh, that's some ass. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is y'all at? Hey, the group chat like, so no invite. Bro, I, I called his ass so quick. Right? I said, what you want? He said, nigga, you know where I'm at. I said, you need to get out here. <laughs> you want to come out here right now? Fuck it. They just letting anybody in. Hey, for real. Man, they wasn't checking bracelets or nothing. I said, man, uh -huh. I'm about to leak this Addy. Yeah, he was, like, he, was like, he was like, should I leak it? Yeah. Bro, I should've. was like, bro, leak that motherfucker. You should have had the whole city turn up in there. Man, right, really? bro, it yes. was crazy, it was bro. As soon as we walk in, I'm seeing ass everywhere. I'm like, got it there. And typically, mm. I, feel like, I feel like pool parties like... Mm -hmm. They don't be like like women don't be in the water mm -hmm. out the joints was in the water, huh? bro. They was, it was like a, a literal splash pad, bro. Going crazy, <laughs> splashing, splash the ass, and then splashing, bro. This basketball court too, people were hooping and everything. Yo. I was like, oh, Dang. it was a function. Oh, it yes, was a function. bro. Music, Man. everything. They had the DJ set up. Yes, bro. DJ set up right by the basketball court, For right real. by the pool, in the middle between of everything. Man. My boy Suddy, bro, he was on the ground on his back, bro. <laughs> Shorty was twerking on him everything. He trying to eat her butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, what are you doing, bro? He said, I had to go for it. I said, I said, I said in front of everybody, he said, yes. Yeah. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, if you saw her, you would have done the same thing. You would have did the same thing. Well, wasn't exactly. that light skin joint with the rumpers? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Face all in it. What are yes. talking about? <laughs> yes. I was what? like, damn, Sonny. He was like, bro, look at that again and tell me you wouldn't have done the same thing. I, I seen like, a tattoo on her ass. Was it some initials? I don't know. I had to zoom in. <laughs> bro, it was, bro, it was, bro, the ripples in it was shaking so fast, bro. I couldn't even tell what it was. I just kept looking. I was so mesmerized. I was like, huh? I was like, bro. So I was, was like, hey, like, kid, kid, kid. I was like, kid, kid, kid. <laughs> Make sure you getting that, bro. Make like, sure you getting that, said, bro. Get whatever you else you getting, get that. I said, get that right now, right now. There. Hey, I, I, we I was in the clip. I was literally ran over there, <laughs> bro. What? I would have had to. I would have had to just throw the hands up, <laughs> right, and boy, get behind that mother, like, yeah, they, <laughs> man. This big puppy looks stuff. <laughs> For the one time, you the know one that. time. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, yeah, it was a cool little vibe though. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Like real. Shorties was really talking. They was vibing and everything like that. They was answering the questions too. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't once we got the questions flowing and everything, and once I got the drink off and, yeah. and everything like that, like I started popping out questions. They was answering them like fruitful. So it sound like, like it sound like what's next is a is a we up pool party. Hell yeah. Well, hey, if we do a party, it, that's what we gotta do. Mm -hmm. Honestly. What cause we could get what DJ DJ Vontae. DJ Vontae. Or mm -hmm. DJ Ray Bay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That could be what that could be a stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. You know, the summer just getting started. Right, right. Cause we've been outside for a minute now, but technically the first day of summer was just like two days ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hot. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. it's getting there. Hey, for yeah. real. You know what I mean? And this, this 
this I see the shirt, you know, you, you remind me college, yep. CWS going on right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know shit about shit when it comes to baseball. <laughs> But I know I like the CWS. I don't know. Hey, I like that. Oh, you know I, like, I, mean? I like the mingle. I like that. I like, I like the, the company. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and so and shout out to my boy Winnie. Uh, my man's hit me Saturday. He got off work at 10. Mm-hmm. Text me about about 9 15. He said, I got the fit in the car. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, too. I was like, we going? I said, I got the fit in the car. <laughs> I said, "Oh, boys I was get off ready. Ten boys was ready." I said, "Oh, okay." I hit, I, I hit y'all immediately. Like, yep. what, what niggas on? When, Winston called me. He said, "Where you at?" No text back from this guy. <laughs> yeah, over I here. Was, I was this nigga always sleep. Oh. You all, you, you, you oh, sleep yeah. all the time when there's money to be made. I don't bro, get it, man. I bro. Know, I could have did a mean city talk, bro. Mean city it was talk. crazy. When I say what two. 2000, 3000. Yeah, it was a good 2000 in attendance, bro. Man. Easy. And the crazy thing is, bro, once I got there, bro, like Shorty's was grabbing me. Oh, for real? All Im- for me, bro. I, bro I walked in. As soon as I walk in, I walk up to him. I see him right away. I walk up to him. I walk up to Winston right away and shit like that. I'm dapping him up and everything. As soon as they walk in front of me, the girl look at me and go, You look so cute. <laughs> I stop for a second. I'm like, Look back, I said, who you talking to? <laughs> she said, I'm talking to you. I said, I just got here. <laughs> I swear to God. I ain't I said, got I, no liquor I, said, I oh, just got real. here. I said, what are you talking about? She said, come here. I said, okay. <laughs> yeah. I started talking to me. I was like, bro, let me get up out of here real quick because it's getting real crazy out yeah, here. Real, real crazy. Yeah. That So shit, sh- Saturday, it was it was chunky as hell. Like mm-hmm. you, okay. you could barely move Ooh. around. Mm-hmm. Sunday, we popped out there and it was like probably like, 500 people mm. and it was still lit okay crazy dope as fuck we, we got this weekend too the shooters you know, outside yeah, yeah what you outside. mean yeah very oh. much so outside yeah nigga city said city said he seen he seen niggas talking to a couple birds he said man i wish i was as tall as you nigga. <laughs> oh god oh god hey, shorty was like Mm. She was at least about like five eleven to six feet. Yeah, yeah. and she had the little had the little pumps on. Mm-hmm. Oh, she was a stallion. Yeah, she, and she had the summer she dress look, on. She looked she like a stallion, dress. boy. She looked like a stallion in the fucking sundress. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? That's that's something I've been thinking about a lot lately, man. Right. We mm-hmm. we talked about you know before summer really started. We were so looking forward to sundress season mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. What? What's y'all grade on the sundress season so far? Like, how how y'all feeling about it? I give it a C minus. Yeah, C minus. I'm saying like, besides Shorty that we saw this past weekend, I haven't really seen a, like a bunch of sundresses to be right. honest. Yeah. And I ain't and I seen those. Like, but I mean, summer just started supposedly. Right. So, so y'all got. I mean, maybe y'all we need to get out more on the weekend. <laughs> y'all, got, y'all got a little bit of time. We do be working a lot. We do be playing. I ain't seen a know? lot of them kaleidoscope pants either. Like Boy. Mm-hmm. them joints that. Ladies and bitches, it's like fourteen dollars on Amazon. Fresh. Like, your man gotta buy you some, or do I got to? Cause hey, like, I'm trying real. to see some ass shaking I out here. God. <laughs> Cash app, God damn it. They say maybe it's too hot for that. You know, I seen a, uh, I seen Cam Newton talking about it. He said, he said, fellas, <laughs> it's the best time of the year, <laughs> sundress season. He said, but don't let that eighteen dollars sundress from Amazon hook you for eighteen years on child support. On oh, dead God. dogs, and that's facts. Yeah, but sure. the way the season going right now, niggas ain't finna be. Ain't nobody about to get caught up. Nothing. Like man, sure, y'all y'all was in the gym so tough, so tough all winter. Where you know, at it's, though? It's, it's show out time, man. Exactly. I done seen too many like uh, too many of those like cut off jean shorts, yeah. mm-hmm. the Daisy Dukes and shit like that's cool, but it don't it don't compare. It, it don't, don't compare. give you the motion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. when you, when you could have that monkey, but when you walk in that motherfucker, even with like the leggings on that, like the gym leggings, mm-hmm. the gym leggings, you know, and that's a whole nother topic. That yep. shit, that's very. I love me a gym fit with the gym shark on. <laughs> I, the me too. Top. Me too. Yeah. But I feel like them gym leggings is catfishing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Really don't be looking yep. like that. Yeah. But anything. In ass, a sundress. The sundress. That motherfucker goes so crazy. The fruit roll up sundress. Good. God. Oh, you talking about that one that's like red, yellow, 
Yes. That like meshes together. It kind of like tie dye. Yes. Ooh. The tie dye joints. <laughs> I don't know where, I don't know what website that came out on, but y'all need to go double down. I'll, mm-hmm. Hey, hey, I'll buy y'all 10 pair. He said, I'll buy <laughs> y'all 10 pair. <laughs> Bro, at this point. I have, I'm, been, I'm, I'm disappointed. I haven't been seeing them. Very Not much real, so. Though. Like, for real. Like, where, y- where y'all at? Very much so. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy. All the things going on in the world right now, and the only thing us niggas is worried about is that motherfucking sundress, <laughs> baby. All right. Where that shit going on? Hey, y'all want, y'all want niggas to spend some money. Y'all not showing it. All right. Speaking of shit going on in the world, bro, have y'all niggas been been tapping into, like, that submarine <laughs> shit and all right. them memes and stuff? Bro, <laughs> first off, I want to say rest in peace to them because it Yo. did just come out that they have been found. Mm-hmm. Well, debris has been found. Well, it was five of them, right? And, yeah, it was yeah. five of them, and they said that they are passed away. They have passed away because they lost oxygen. They ran out of the time to have oxygen. But the memes have been going crazy. crazy. Like, they just didn't give a fuck about them. Crazy. And that just... Like, I don't know about y'all, but potent- my ticket to hell probably already been punched. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, God. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't like, gonna lie. I laugh at shit I'm not supposed to. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? It I just say, happens. I say shit I shouldn't. Mm-hmm. But, like, them memes, bro, had me fucking crying. Bro, I saw one of them, bro. It said that they, them motherfuckers at, at Bikini Bottom in the drive <laughs> trying to get it. Trying to get a 10 piece chum, chum, uh, chum bucket nuggets. I said, Whoa. Bro, the funniest one I seen, it was like when, uh, it was like when, if, if my stink was on the submarine <laughs> and it's a motherfucker diving off the cliff, oh, yeah. I, said, I feel, I felt them on that. Oh, God. Like, oh, I'm a butter. Oh, <laughs> get up in that water. Oh, I, I seen one, it was like, uh, on Baywatch when The Rock. Jumped yep. off and swam underneath the fire, <laughs> like when your when your uh, when your girl down there. I seen some like shorties with the with the snorkeling shit on. Yep, and it's like oh, she's on like top of like a scuba thing. Yeah, it is said it said bitches when they find out a billionaire on that sub. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Go find oh, that God. nigga. Oh no! I need, hey. I, need, I need you to break me off a little bit. Right, I, I saw it. one when they was like doing an interview with an orca. He was like, "Yeah, the motherfuckers. That's what happens when the motherfuckers don't check in." I said. <laughs> I said, damn, fire lady. Hey, that them, motherfucker gonna brush by us and them, not check in. Them killer whales. You yeah, know what I was saying? Like, them, kill, them killer whales are something serious. But yep. that that just brings me to the main, like, the underlying point of all that. Why the fuck would you do that shit? Right? Like, that shit literally <laughs> looked like a little sperm cell. <laughs> okay. And you finna throw that bitch in the ocean? <laughs> Bro, it was with a controller. Of a PS2 <laughs> yeah, right. controller. That was a GameCube controller. <laughs> right? That's GameCube. I was like, whoa. That nigga Bro. said, I got, I got Dreamcast. <laughs> nigga, what? Bro, and then the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, when I saw him step inside of it, I said, bro, it only looked like it could fit one person. It looked like a yep. bed. Bro, for real. I was Straight like, up damn, like bro, five people in there, bro, just laying on top of, of each other. I was like, yeah, that's going to be bad yeah, news. Of course bro. y'all gone. And I had like like it don't matter what type of what time of day it is, at some point I'm gonna have to blow me some gas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Imagine being in that little tube. We underwater. <laughs> it ain't airing out. Where where I'm supposed to you dookie gonna, at? Yeah. Exactly. They, have, they had a little at? toilet, but they got yeah the little box. After that, like they say, once you lost the oxygen, they were smelling feces and everything, throw up, vomit, yeah, everything. Nah. Like yeah, they, it was getting bad in there. I guess tragic. I seen me. Like, they say just that's the keep worst way to die. Man, just keep swimming. <laughs> I like this right here. <laughs> right, Wait, that's ground what I'm under my feet. I don't hey. know why people do shit. And like then that. I was like, the thing I was thinking about it, I was like, it's just so dumb of them to do that. That's just rich people shit. Because like, why the fuck you gonna spend a million dollars? Because all together they paid a million. Yep. Like he lost a million by taking them down there. They all dead now. But like he just lost out on an M. They yeah. just spent the M to go down there just to die to see for science the Titanic. Like, yes. like you can't even walk on that motherfucker. You gonna see it and be like, yeah, we saw it, bro. You could have went on YouTube and been like Titanic, something. Looked at a video of something. Titanic of somebody already going down there and surviving, right? And seeing through it and seeing all the shit like that happened. Like you could have went through a history. Like I could have seen. I could have. I could have been like. I could have understood if it was like a scientific thing they was trying to do, like figure out of why the crash happened and like what they need to do to like better their ships. Yeah. But, like, they just went down there to see on some rich dumb shit. Yeah. Right. Like, Get me some money then, motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers don't got nothing better to do with their money than they to go poor, down bro. to nah. the bottom of the ocean. Nigga, we've only explored 5% of the ocean. Yeah. Right. Son, ain't no way. 
Hey. It's probably it's probably Megalodon down there. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking cracking. Cracking. <laughs> hey, 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 my family, my um African family is from the water descent, and I'm still not doing that. Dude. I'm not even getting on a cruise. It would take it would take, you know, one little tentacle to go past a little baby ass window. I'd I'm like, hey, I, I, <laughs> me, I'd have died. <laughs> Soon as that motherfucker, <laughs> soon as I see Buddy like put the controller to the side, I probably would have died right, right. then in there. Heart right. attack. Mm-mm. Boom. Or I could just only, you could only really imagine like they found debris. Yeah. Right? Oh. Mm-hmm. So that little turd nugget just broke open. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what? How, how how did debris happen? Because like honestly, I feel big like. Ass shit jaw, down there, jaws, right? That's what I'm probably. <laughs> Ho- of hopefully they just died off of the pressure of like how yeah. deep they were. That's right. the best benefit of the doubt. But if they stayed in there too long and they suffocated, I would hate to see. I would hate to live like that. For right. real. Like I would hate to have my life in like that because like being down there so deep in the trenches of the ocean, like you, it's so dark, bro. Like you don't know what you see. Oh, literally. You know, in I would rather trenches. probably something eat me, honestly. You, you know what's going like, to happen now? Thousand ways to die about to come back. Bro, have that y'all ever? Show. <laughs> did y'all ever watch that movie, uh, Forty Seven Meters Down, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. where they in the the shark cage? Yeah, yeah. they showed you how to make a swim for it. Mm-hmm. What? Just keep swimming. That's the type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand. I just don't get humans in general. Yeah. Like, why the fuck do we find joy in jumping out of planes and shit? I'm good. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck do we find joy in swimming with sharks and throwing chum in the water and shit mm-hmm. so they can get active? I'm good. Right. Why would you ever go underwater to see the Titanic? It sunk for a reason. Right? I'm good. We try to get down there for Jack like, ain't out there. Like they could have just bought a big ass boat. Jack ain't out there. I don't, hey. I don't get it. Man, I see. Hey. It's like in a, the Simpsons type shit predicted I that shit. That, yeah, yeah. I saw that too. Like, that was crazy. Absolutely insane. Someone said it was Tylo Kim from Black Man. Dude, what? No, yeah, because that was one of the guys that went down there before. He said like they went down there like three times already. Yeah. No, the the one guy, the owner, been down there like twenty times. Oh yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. this was the one time that your shit malfunction. You got billionaires on board and shit like that. Yeah. Nah. I don't know. The, I know. the motherfucking conspiracy theorist in me thinks you know everything. Like it's just a. This is just getting our eyes on this. Yeah, for something else. Something else shaking out. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying that's something else. Got to be that Young Thug Rico case. Free him. Oh God, free Young Thug. I think on, he, he free on Jeffrey trial right now too. Free Jeffrey. Oh my God, dropping an album tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looking forward to Definitely it. About to tune in on that. Yeah, man, y'all uh, tap in with Gunna album yet? Yes. Hell no. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> QP ski. Nope. He said QP ski. And why not? Fuck with it. Hey, I'm from North Twenty Fourth in Miami, bro. I don't fuck with. Did he nobody. snitch on you? I don't give a damn who you snitched on. Did you he snitch, snitch, you snitch on you? Nope. Mm-mm. He didn't. He, he didn't snitch on you. I don't give a damn. So you ain't gonna listen to his music because nope. he didn't snitch on you. Mm-mm. Are you in the streets? Mm-mm. Oh, you the are not. A, you are not a street nigga. You are hey. not a hood nigga. Hey, the family. So is, therefore, you know what I'm saying. Did, but did he even really tell? He just said, "Yeah." He said he opened his damn mouth. He so said, he, he said, said what? it wasn't me. He said it was the gang. He Did said, he snitch on you, kid? Nah, I don't no. care. So, <laughs> so what I'm saying is, it's the principality. <laughs> what I'm saying is, niggas, you, you, you. First off, I'm gonna send you. Fuck you, mean, and you gotta spend that shit. Oh God, nah. you gonna spend it a couple times? I, I guarantee that. that damn thing. I guarantee uh-huh. that. I got street morals. Yeah. Oh God, I got street morals, bro. Fuck that, boy. Mm-hmm. So you telling me like, like, uh, like the Takashi Six Nine shit, right? Hmm. He he just he asked out too. Yep. When he first came out, I was like, "All right, this is cool." So after, after that me, shit, so you telling nah. me Gunna was here right now, and he was like, "Bro, I want you to kick with me and shit like that." He offered. He gave you like a good like hell. Two shoot film, a music video. Five hundred to shoot a shoot a music no, video. He'll give you. A I got morals. Cap. I got morals. Cap. You I'm know you shooting. That so shit. you so are you so are you shooting the music video? I reference somebody else. Or are you eating Bernice Burgos ass? Which one? Cause like you suppose we got all these morals, nigga. You don't eat ass, and you wouldn't shoot a video for nah, Gunner. Come on, nah, bro. Man, I got morals, man. Come on, bro. Niggas, yeah, cap. What do you got to lose, though? Nah. What it's, do you got to lose? It's respect for me, man. Respect. Real. Okay. Who's, so, who's not gonna respect you? You just got an M. I respect my damn self. Okay, so so six nine, right? Mm-hmm. Six nine situation a little different than Gunner, mm-hmm. right? Gunner was only facing like eighteen years or something with the charges that were on, that could have been on him, mm-hmm. right? Did what he did. 
Six nine was facing like fifty years, mm-hmm. and he got a kid, a daughter, right? Sound like a personal problem. Now and they was fucking his baby mom. They fucked his baby mom, beat jumped, his ass, jumped him, robbed him, and all that. And he wasn't supposed to say shit. Sound like a personal problem to me and my boy. So what would you it's, do? So it's what would his you do? fault? Wait a second. It's his fault for him getting that situation in the first place. Fact. Because he's not a street nigga in the be- beginning. So that's his fault. Mm-mm. So what would you do if you was in that situation? I wouldn't say shit. So it's my take, fault because so I got in that situation. So you taking fifty? Hell yeah! After they fucked your baby moms, why is your baby mom? You. Why is your baby moms around them? You taking fifty years? Hey man, hey, I got I'm two. Be I got two OGs from the block. Can't do it. That's I how I know niggas years. ain't never been inside the prison because, <laughs> boy, I, I used to work in that motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, I'm cool. I'm gonna oh eat that God. shit. If I ain't do the shit, I ain't do the shit, bro. Right. I don't give a fuck. That's a di- that's a there's a difference though. If you ain't do it, they should they should tow on their damn selves. But you know they said this is the winkest link. We're gonna make this nigga say it. Shit, mm-hmm. and he but in terms of six nine shit, like he's out. He's a victim. Been out. You can play that victim card. And you want. he only got touched by some OGs at, at the gym. Outside of that, mm-hmm. this motherfucker <laughs> spinning he's still making more bread than ever. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 millions of dollars to be made. One, if you a real nigga, you ain't getting touched up by no old niggas at the gym. I'm not saying six nine a real nigga. <laughs> oh, exactly, that's what I'm saying, bro. Nah, I can't. I feel do that. like I feel like it's different because you don't have no kids yet and shit like that. But like mm-hmm. once you have a kid, bro, Your there's no way in chance. There's there's no way in hell that I'm a take the chance of that shit even going to trial or even me even trying to be there. If I could get up out of there, I'm going to get up out of there. Does, Especially yeah. for my kid, bro. It's, it's crazy does. to me how motherfuckers like the, them niggas that like, even like uh in, in, in Gunna case, mm-hmm. right? All them YSL niggas ain't going to be there for him when he die. They you know not. what I'm saying? Exactly. Only me. I came in by myself. I'm going out by myself. Mm-hmm. You, you a goddamn lie if you don't. If, and bro, but, think about, think about Gunna's case real quick though. Like, he, they got it's a Rico, so it's like a big organization. Mm-hmm. Like they pulling people from everywhere, right? Yeah. I understand what he said. Like some of it could not be right, but I understand what he said. Like, oh, it wasn't me. Like I don't know who it is, but it wasn't me. That's all I'm saying on the plea. Like, boom, right? So you saying you're not gonna say that, right? You're not gonna just tell him it wasn't you, right? I'm not gonna open my mouth. Period. So you're not gonna say it wasn't you. When you from when you a nigga from the block, you don't open your mouth. Period. You don't say no names. You don't mm-hmm. say your damn self. They have to prove it that it was you, and they have to prove it was your, your crew. Mm-hmm. Don't say nothing. Okay, That's what's wrong with these niggas. They talk too damn much. Talk on the track. Don't talk in court. Mm-hmm. And that's also be their problem. They talk on the track, then that shit get used in court. Exactly. Thank you. So, so, hmm. so, kid, what's the answer? What are they supposed to um, do? Nothing? You got yourself in this predicament, your damn self. Mm-hmm. You wanted to live the life. So This is what, what you wanted. He, so, but he's making music, right? Yep. What if he didn't know that a Rico was like they you never know when a Rico's gonna hit you. You he's never just know, making, but he's just in making music as an industry plant. But you making music off of what though? What you making music off of? The trap. This goes How you know with he's making life. it off the trap. Do you listen? What if he just making music? <laughs> Come on. What if he Come just on. making music? Come on now. Come Bro, on now. So, but but <laughs> they one foot in, one foot out. I can't respect so that. prior, like, did you listen to Wanna? Yeah, I listened to him before. But when I found out that you a snitch, I had to cut you off. Mm-hmm. Period. For real. Shit, nigga ain't snitch on me, so I'm finna spin that. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn. <laughs> For sure, sure. For we sure, up ski. Sure. Yeah. That <laughs> nigga hard, bro. <laughs> oh, God. And, and I just, I hear you, and I know you a man of conviction, mm-hmm. but, like, I also know your goals and your dreams in life. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of Shooting a video for Gunna he puts won't, you on that trajectory. He won't be the last rapper. Just like just like the ladies. She won't be the last lady. He won't be the last rapper. Right. Don't got to be the last, but somebody always got to be the first. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But I'll, I'll take that reference. I'll take that I'll take that risk. But hell no. So you saying so you saying regardless of anything, mm-hmm. legal troubles in terms of at least snitching determines their you know, value to you and what they used to be as a rapper. That and who you are as a human being. You putting your hands on women, children, mm-hmm. can't respect that. You robbing, if you a scammer, can't respect that, honestly. 
And that's mostly know. rappers. I don't know. That nigga Jersey might could snitch on my daddy, and I'm still listening <laughs> to that nigga. <laughs> yeah, nah. Hey, I, nah. I might still listen yeah. to Buddy. I might not come off it of, uh, off of like like a hood nigga because I was raised differently. But I got two OGs from the block, and they raised me mm-hmm. completely different, and they taught me those morals. For sure, Can't for do sure. It. Sure. I was about to say something. I was about to say something to put oh, you yeah. in a predicament oh, where yeah, I yeah. feel like you're gonna have to tell either way. Yeah. Then I was just gonna have to put you gonna have to be uh, labeled a snitch they, after that, nah. but I ain't gonna say it. And they said, Don't say don't <laughs> open your mouth when you when you in that room. Someone smoke nothing. your mama and you see him and he get arrested, but the only person that saw him was you. And if you don't tell him Oh, he they not he, getting, he's gonna be going free. What they you not do? getting him, I'm getting him. And I go to jail with a smile on my face. Nah. So you just gonna smoke his ass? Yeah. For sure, because that's from the same thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, but I feel like I feel like if 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 you don't have a chance to smoke that nigga before he goes to the court or whatever, yeah. The next best thing, like I hear all that y'all saying, and I'm probably gonna get flamed on fucking TikTok. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if a nigga kill my mama, like. <laughs> he fucking did it. <laughs> what? <laughs> but but my thing is, if I saw it, yeah, you could best believe that nigga finna be laying right there next oh, to not him. Not fact. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Fact. Like, ain't no fucking way I'm gonna see some exactly. shit. And shit gonna get off. Yeah. Hey, the game is anybody can get got. Mm-hmm. Man, so. so so I just I know for for myself personally in city, obviously he done spun the album. It's it's some fucking heat on there. Mm-hmm. And I was spinning that album when I was getting ready for the CWS, as we got said. <laughs> yeah. Hey, which brings me to when y'all, when you, you know, I, I feel like when, when a nigga get dressed, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? What what do you get dressed on first? Like, like what puts the outfit together? You you throw the shoes on So, like, first? what I start with? Yeah, yeah. or is it, okay, like, okay. the shirt? What it, What is it that, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because for Honestly? me... Go ahead, go ahead. It just depends what mood I'm in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, whatever song come on, boom, boom, like I get the feeling, and then I get a vibe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or I see a vision. Mm-hmm. But typically, I start all my fits with the kicks. Mm-hmm. No, got to start there from you go. the bottom up. Have to. You got to work from the bottom up. Have definitely. to start with the kicks. Because, you know, I be thinking about it, too, and I be like, damn, who I want to feel like tonight? I want to feel like my nigga Big Poppy look <laughs> stuff. It's the wild with a step on the scene. <laughs> Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, I want to be on my little like little drizzy shit. You know, got the like baggy pants on, you know, with the big shirt. Just, just you know, just chill vibe type shit. Like, but it always starts from the shoes up. So I look at my shoes first, and then I start looking at colorways and stuff like that. And I, I'm so into the fashion, so I start thinking, and I start looking between my clothes and everything. I'm like, that might go with that. Yeah, I might fuck them up with this one. And I just start throwing on yeah. shit. Then I got like four or five outfits on. Then I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, bro, it's already like 11 o'clock, bro. Right. And then I just throw on something random as fuck. And I come out and be like, <laughs> that'd be my problem. Are you like, stepping tonight? <laughs> like my closet's so deep. Like I change probably three or four times before I even step out of the crib. Mm-hmm. And sometimes damn I'll go shame. with the first fit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. I just, then I'd be like, I could wear that another day. Yeah. Cause I think of another day and then I'd be like, ooh, like I have golf fits. I have motherfucking yep. gym fits. I have fucking real casual, real casual fits. I have like going on a date real quick. I have popping out with the guys. Like yeah. I have like, I'm about to go like kill somebody like on some <laughs> real shit. Like I'm talking about like going out CWS type killing type shit. Like, you oh, know, God. step out on the all Dior you, type shit. You ground up too? It's always the kicks. Yeah. You know, high school sneaker head like a motherfucker, you know. Yeah. Every every general release, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? So it gotta be it gotta start off with the kicks, you know. Uh, cause you can throw a re- regular shirt on, you can throw a Valone shirt on, a Gucci shirt on, and nobody give a damn. But when they see them kicks, they're like, Bro, that is factual. Yep. Mm-hmm. That is very factual. Yep. And mm-hmm. that's why I learned that I would rather spend a bag on some fucking kicks yep. versus a t shirt. Versus a t shirt. Cause exactly. boy, like, I feel like 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 my man's right here, this nigga be stepping mm-hmm. every time. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? <laughs> and he might not even receive the compliments that I feel like his fit should. For real. Yeah. Right? And we'll step out. One time we stepped out, this nigga had on the Louis V varsity jacket that with dope. the blue bunny on the oh. back. Mm-hmm. The Louis V steppers. Mm-hmm. With the Amiri jeans on, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I notice 
a couple other niggas notice, mm-hmm. right? But but s- most niggas don't be that hip to fashion, nah, right? Nah, for sure, for sure. That same night, I got on a $12 hoodie <laughs> from Old Navy. <laughs> Me and this nigga standing sure, next though, to him, sure. and he could even tell you this. Not even a hate on him, you know. I'm yeah. merching this shit, but not for real. It's bitches walking by, like I love this. What you got on? Right. Oh my god! And I'm, I'm like, like right. this is this twelve dollars. <laughs> like, <laughs> look what this thing got on. You know what I'm saying? God, oh this god. overseas, he oh got god. on the fuck. Oh or it'd be like a, a dude walk up. You could literally have nothing, nothing. Boom! Mm-hmm. But have some hard ass kicks on. Everybody going notice the kicks. For Facts. real. Facts. I feel like the only problem with getting dressed from the kicks up. Is a lot of time people be trying to be too matchy matchy. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Like, gotta learn how to color block. Gotta yeah. learn how to color block. Gotta learn the, like the the different color schemes mm-hmm. and shit and how and it goes. Honestly, if it it don't even be that. Like people that be too matchy matchy, I feel like don't like fashion. No, because like if you like fashion, you're gonna wear whatever you want to wear, no matter exactly. if you feel like it matches or not, because you have an inspiration in your mind that it matches. Yep. So every time I wear something like. One time I wore these like flame jeans and I wore, they were like red and yellow and they went down the side and then I wore, um, my, um, what did I wear? I wore some, my sixes, I think. I think I wore my sixes. Yeah. Yeah. I wore my sixes with them and then I wore this like hoodie with it and I was like, but also I I wore a babushka one time. Mm Mm-hmm. And then when the I wore a babushka, be so crazy, right? yeah, when okay. I wore a babushka fit, I had on shorts mm-hmm. and I had on like a, a nice little dress shirt with it. But I also had on some like, I think I had these on my noctas on. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this shit tough. Tough. Yeah. Tough. And everybody walking by was like, where you get that scarf from? I was like, this ain't a scarf, baby. This is not yeah. a fucking scarf. <laughs> this is a babushka. Dare disrespect. I was like, this is a babushka. And then it's like people- a babushka. I need to get one of those. Nigga, I had that on and everything with the glasses. And I was like, yeah, this shit tough, nigga. <laughs> and then my man's over here was like, bro, if I ever have a wedding, that's one of the gifts that I want. <laughs> I was like, real <laughs> nigga shit. I would want one of those down two. the wish list. If, right? if it's good. Right? If it's good. <laughs> yeah. like, Hell no. That's why I said, if I ever get married. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's another thing. What y'all think about that? Like, marriage and shit. Like, y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Is it in the cards for you? The traditional, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Obviously, in today's day and age, shit getting a little, shit. Shit getting a little different out here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, we did hit on that last time, but I feel like we didn't get too deep into that. Like, we did talk about, like, girls proposing to them and, like, how mm-hmm. would you feel if a girl proposed to you? Mm-hmm. You wasn't here. We did shout your ass out. He was mad that we <laughs> thought we didn't. Ass wasn't listening. But... Honestly, I think, like, nowadays, like, I thought real deeply about it. Like, at first, I didn't want to get married. I never wanted to get married. Yeah. But, like, if the person is right for me and it's, like, a perfect fit for me, I feel like I could get married. It just would have, like, I'm a lot to do with, to be honest. Yeah. And, like, I feel like a lot of things change in my life where, like, I'm a Sagittarius. There's a little insider for y'all. Like. I like things to be spontaneous. That's my sign. Yep. <laughs> I set a sag. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I like things to be, like, more spontaneous every time. So, like, you would have to, like, bring to the table that excitement for me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it would have to be that every single time. And if I get married, like, and I get settled, like, and we just, like, are complacent enough, like, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm not going to want to be with you. And I would hate that for somebody else. Mm-hmm. So, but I do want to get married because I do want to like you're not gonna die with somebody, but like I do want somebody to be there for me when I die and I get old and I start shitting on myself and shit like that. You know, I'm, I'm riding in a wheelchair <laughs> and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I do need that. I feel like I do need that. Cruising down the street in my six foot <laughs> ass. Uh, me How personally, you, you know, um, growing up, I had inspirations to get married just because of my parents. You know, they've been married for 25 years mm-hmm. or been together for 25 years and then married for 20. Um, but now looking at this dating market, I'm like, do I really want to get married? Like, is there a true benefit for mm-hmm. a man getting married? You seeing all these divorces going on, niggas losing half most of their shit, mm. not getting their kids. That nigga Scotty just got half of his shit took, and they been to be a career, bruh. She been fucking on niggas, bruh. Like what? I seen a picture of that nigga at the air, at the airport. He had all black <laughs> Air Force. <laughs> So he said, check on his mental health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap, bro. I opened the closet, and the first thing that was sitting right there on top of my, all, all my kicks <laughs> was my black forces. I said, <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> Man, I don't even want to put them on. Hey, for dude. real. 
Because the last time I had them on, I was on fucking timing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I remember that too. I pulled yeah. up with the Hennessy bottle and these exactly. Y'all niggas know, boy. If I'm on uh -huh. dark, I'm on timing because right. I'm always on that. We all ask this nigga like, "Oh, you on timing tonight?" He didn't even say nothing. I right? said, "Keep your fucking head on a swivel." <laughs> oh God, I'm, I'm like. I'm say like less. hacking it out Start in walking hey, in I said say less you know I, mean? I got the Henny on me off top <laughs> So I'm like shit Say less I got my bottle right here Fuck yeah. it A different A different animal Right yeah. yeah I think though that You know It's it's all circumstantial mm -hmm. Right yeah. Like if you can find The right one That's willing to You know what I'm saying Put up with Certain things Or you know Certain things are okay Yep. You know what I mean? Because, like you said, I don't want to get complacent, but I also don't want to get bored. Like, exactly. I, I, I find myself getting bored a lot with women mm -hmm. to where it's like, okay, I'm supposed to ask you to marry me, and then this is going to be every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That's you know, so now that you say that, and I said it too, and, like, you said it, opened my mind up, I think that... I feel like, honestly, what we, sh like, in order to get married, like, real shit right now, like, for me, I think, in order to get married, I feel like I would need to find myself first and to have to settle with myself on doing certain shit like that, because... Being spontaneous is gonna take a lot. Like you're gonna run out of shit to do as a wife. Like yeah. think about it. Like we being too yes. selfish right now. I feel like a little bit, but like that's just the type of person I am. Yes. Yeah. But like, what the fuck is she gonna possibly do every day to make your ass be that's, happy? All right. That's that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people don't have real like, realistic uh, like perspective on marriage. Yeah. See, like, my parents married for 20 years. They didn't do nothing new every fucking day. Yeah. Like there's anniversaries. Like obviously, you're gonna have boring, like, gonna like, have boring moments. Like right. I like, guess it's not even the personality that I was talking about being boring. It's the pussy. But oh god, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause man, boy, <laughs> man, <laughs> and we keeping it a whole bug, a whole fucking bug, bro, dude. For real like, though, man. for real though, hey, you gonna have to only... do something a little different. Like you gonna have to right. do something a little strange for yeah. a piece of change in the bedroom now. Let me, like, like, some, let me ask something real quick while we like, in this. Real shit. Do y'all think pussy is a a gift? Honestly, a gift. Yeah, what like you, Valentine's Day, birthday. Hell no. Thank oh, nah. you. Thank hell you. Nah. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Fuck no. I have to cross it off the list. Fuck no, no baby. Because nah. y'all be thinking that's a, a gift. gift. That's Listen, not a gift. If you pulling up, <laughs> it's my birthday, and you like, I got you some. I'm okay. <laughs> like, you know, what are we talking about? Size 13. <laughs> yep. right. Okay. Oh, yep. God. <laughs> Shoes, bitch. That's the only thing I want. <laughs> hmm. Hey. And you pull up, and you just... Freshly shaved the pussy and you just drop it. You just trying to drop, drop the, the lingerie on. on. That's it. That's it. That's it. I just got the same shit last night. Right, and then y'all be like, expecting man. the rooftop hotels. I'm like Dude, rose pedals. Right. Oh Louis Vuitton. Imagine steak dinner. Ima that's that's probably what I'm gonna do for <laughs> for the next birthday. I'm a part of with a female. You yep. know what I'm saying? I'm a. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get something, <laughs> and I'm a I, and I'm a have. You gonna get you gonna get the candy boxes, boy. Listen, I'm gonna get a candy box, and I'm gonna have my nigga kid fuck with it to where it's a Louis, it's, it's, it's a Louis Vuitton candy box. Oh my god, throw the little LV on it, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, look, man, I got you some Louis V. Oh, Open god. it, it's my dick in a box, bitch, because that's all you hoes is doing nowadays is giving pussy for birthdays. Like, oh my like god. I'm putting dick in a box for now on. Oh god. Dick in a box on your birthday. That's what you. On your birthday, on your anniversary, right. on your Valentine's Day. Oh, it's Valentine's Day, baby. Yeah, I putting dick in a in a chocolate box. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. And we just uh, gonna see how they like it. You wanna get dick in a pop out oh, cake? Fuck God. it. You know what I'm saying? It's Father's Day the other day. Where's my wait, gift? Man, oh, God. I ask that, Cause I'm like, that's not no gift. Like no, for real. Hell no. And then also going back to the marriage thing too. Pretty is not a personality trait. No. You gotta be more than pretty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll settle with a woman who's a a six seven if she got the personality. Oh yeah, yeah. If a if a listen if a if a girl funny as fuck, like my be like why why this why that why you talking to her? Listen, if I'm talking to her, she is funny as fuck. Yep, mm -hmm. and I be dying laughing all the time. Right? Exactly. Like I thoroughly enjoy myself around a funny ass female. Exactly. Facts. I'm not taking no six though. No. <laughs> That's for facts. I would settle for a seven if the seven is funny. Yeah. Facts. But the six can be adjusted though. Hell you know, they no. can get them edits. 
You said they could get them edits. You paying for them edits? Dude, why, <laughs> why, why Why? the other day? I'm uh, li- This is literally yesterday, nigga. I'm on the phone with my mom. And uh, we talking about, you know, some 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 off the wall shit. And uh, she she going to say, like, I don't know why you can't just find a girl that don't do all that shit. I'm like, what you mean? <laughs> she was like, you know, because I ain't going to tell you what we was talking about because mm-hmm. I don't want to get a text. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> yep. not even, you know, we was, we was talking about my, my son, mom. Right. Yep. But mm-hmm. and but like, I don't. I had to tell my mom, like, ma, do you understand how hard it is nowadays to find a joint that don't go get lip filler, that don't go get uh, fake eyelashes put on every mm-hmm. week, yep. that don't go get Botox and do all that shit? Yep. Like, because it's no longer, you know, about, you. It's, it's it's always been since, like, what, 2008, yep. keeping up with the Kardashians. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I'm not going to cap Kylie Jenner or Kim Kendall. Kardashian, those are two bad bitches. So I'm not even mad at y'all for trying to keep up with them, mm-hmm. right? But like, how is it fair for niggas? <laughs> exactly. How? how? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, my dick plenty big, <laughs> but I feel like that's the only thing I could. Do they even got dick extensions? No, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they do. Yeah. Like girls could literally I think go. It's, uh, you go to this doctor, you get a surgery done or some shit. Bro, like females that. can literally get their coochie tightened. They you understand? Every, they get everything. Every fucking advantage. You see that video you ain't with Cam? got no titties, go get some. You see with the video yeah. with Cam when he said, you ain't got no titties, titties, go get some. <laughs> you ain't got no lips, go put some in. Yup. BBLs. Nigga, you ugly as fuck. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's you why I got this saying? charm, baby. Look, you know what bro, I'm saying? That's the problem for yep. dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I can't stand this nigga. Hey, I tried to sneak that motherfucker in there. <laughs> it moved past hey, me. Hey, hey, this nigga what? Hey, dude. <laughs> hey. Hey, no, God, though. But it's like, but that's why far too often. Edit that one out, bro. Nah, I'm <laughs> that's, that's why far too often, though, you see nah, niggas facts, going though. broke, though, and shit. Facts. Because a nigga got to, as a dude, you it, it, if it ain't in you, it better be on you. Yep. And for it to be on you, you got to pay for shit. Nah, exactly. honestly, I'm th- nah, for real. You, you right, though. You right, though. Because, like, why do men, like, what we have to do now to compete is take her out, spend some money on her. Every single time, do all of and that. I'll be damned if I do that shit all the time. Yeah, bro. I'm not paying for pussy. Like bro. I got way too much no. shit to pay for already, bro. But that's the thing. Like, I ain't bro. doing that. The 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 lever scale is so far unbalanced right now. Like I can't. Let's say I, like this is all real, right? Yep. But, and y'all niggas know how long I've been telling y'all. Like I've been telling y'all for what, like three, four years. Like I'm, yep. I'm gonna get dreads. Uh huh. If I went and got the Jimmys. The Jimmy Butler fake dreads. Everybody be like, "A motherfucker gonna curb me yo, oh God. Now, tomorrow." You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, take the fake ass shit out right here. Da, da, right. da. But why is it that females can go throw in extensions and everything is cool? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I went and got some leg extensions. Motherfuckers gonna curb me, bro. Right. Motherfucker, you was just short yesterday. You <laughs> was just five two. I'm like, yeah, five eight. God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. it's crazy. Yo. Oh God. Yeah. Honestly, like, and then we'll tell y'all, y'all don't have to do all that. Not for real. Because uh, my homegirl, she's like, I get hit on more when I'm in my baggy clothes and look ba- busted. I said, thank you. Right. We don't, don't need all that. Not for sure. All exactly. that other shit, really, to a to a lame nigga is just intimidation, shorty. That's like, all it is. Y'all not, like, a nigga like me, I'm finna step down to you if you if you dressing bummy, yep. but you look good. If yep. you're out and you look good. <laughs> yep. T- it don't matter. I'm stepping down regardless. For real. But- a insecure motherfucker not finna step to you. And a exactly. lot of these niggas out here is very insecure. Not for sure. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And it's a product of our environment. Yeah. How know. could I not how could you not be insecure when you gotta do everything right? Yep. Everything to yep. get chose. Yeah. Right. You Just know what I'm saying? N- to get the possibility of getting chose. Right. Facts. Not really get chose. Because then she like got, got 30. money. Yep. Shit, oh, you yeah. gotta look like you got money. You gotta have a good looking face. Yeah. Shit, you gotta be tall. Drive a nice car. Drive a nice car. My thing is, that's my thing. Right. How you gonna be demanding a nigga with money and your ass is negative in your bank account? Or staying with their mama. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, bro, 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 bro. I don't talk to girls that I'm don't got so their own crib. Now we really into the toxic shit. Yeah. Oh, because 
it's it, it within like the last like eight to nine months of my life, I done had to cut some bitches off just simply for the fact that like where where are we supposed to kick it? Yep. Facts, bro. <laughs> like you I live, say the same <laughs> shit. Like I'm like, bro. Like how the fuck am I supposed to kick it with you? You live you with your that? fucking mama and your auntie, right? <laughs> like, bro, I've had some bad, bad pieces. <laughs> Niggas, are, this nigga text me like, bro, how'd you drop off? Like, what happened to Shorty? <laughs> like, saying I got tired of having to see her at the bar. Yep. Or you know, what I'm saying, what are you doing? Shit. At the time, I'm living in Lincoln, so like, mm-hmm. I'm just driving up here to see my homies. Yep. So if I'm going to run down on you and try and pick you up, oh, can we go back to your spot? You want to drive an hour? Why don't we go back to yours? Well, uh, my, my your mother, <laughs> right? Like, I don't have a problem with a shorty that live with their mom, but it'd but. be a fucking problem if we did, though. Exactly. exactly. You know oh, yeah. They oh, you're broke. broke. Oh, you you're still oh, living you're with broke. your mommy? Yeah. Crazy. Like, bro. Crazy as fuck. That's, that's, you, that's why I go with my OG. He said, don't ever believe what a woman says, because they just, they just bullshitting out their mouth. Right, mm-hmm. so like the only fake thing that th- we can't even w- rock fake jewelry. We can't even rock fake jewelry. Oh god! Like, do you know how many times I I go to Ross weekly? Yep. I love going into Ross. I love I love the clothes there. Y'all niggas know shit. City could wear all the Louis Vuitton. He want. I don't have a piece of Louis Vuitton in my whole entire closet. Mm-hmm. I got I, I I get my my discount shit. I like that. Yeah, that should give me a rise. Ball and budget. Exactly. They be having some nice shit in there too. I be getting I'm, some golf shit in there. I, I ball regardless, yep. but I know where I'm a I'm a spend my money and where I'm not. Yep. Right? Exactly. They got some fire ass fake jewelry mm-hmm. in a Ross, in a Walmart, mm-hmm. in a Target. Yeah. Right. But nigga, I feel gross even looking at it. Yeah. Exactly. And I know you niggas not judging me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm not. They not worried if my neck green or these cubics or chromium, da da. Shorties are though. Yeah, exactly. Right. And you, when have you ever went up to a bird and been like, <laughs> "Is that real? <laughs> is that real? <laughs> huh? Is that from a stallion? Yeah. <laughs> is this no bullshit. I'm about to start doing that though. Is this synthetic? I'm about to start like, grabbing on shit like, <laughs> where'd you get this wig from? Like what? Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to reference you to Shake a, a shop. little titty like. <laughs> <laughs> don't seem natural. <laughs> what? Is this a BBL? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Just imagine being an ugly little dick motherfucker and you can't <laughs> do shit. Can't do nothing. There's one thing you can do. Get that bread. Mm-hmm. Get that money. That's my advice to every nigga. Get that money. But that's the equalizer. Mm-hmm. But why the fuck does the equalizer have to be the green shit? It don't make no exactly. damn sense to me. I don't know why. It don't make sense at all. That's why you know I'm, I'm on that mission really right now. Don't. Right. And that's why, that's why I like, I say it's very, very green and it's very possible that niggas don't never get married, bro. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. yeah sure. I'd rather just be a side nigga. Like, <laughs> oh, facts. <laughs> the facts. side nigga get all the benefits. That the, side nigga nigga wants. Has, the side nigga knows all the fucking deets, too. Yep. You know right. what I'm saying? The side nigga know everything about the main nigga. Yep. <laughs> and, with half the fucking problems. Half exactly. the problems. This is the rules of a side nigga. Literally. You got one, just listen to her vent about her nigga. Two, drop off that dick in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. And three, shut your mouth. That's all right. you got to do. You go back home peacefully. Be like, like, call me when you need me. <laughs> that's it. I'll be around the corner. Right, he start it. fucking up Benefit. again. Benefit, right? But think about this. This is crazy. What if you're the main nigga, right? Mm-hmm. And you've been with your girl for... 16 years. Yeah. Y'all got some kids. Right? And it's that it's about that time, Man. you know, where you feeling like, mm, I done had, we, now we got three kids. You know, I won't even put her, and that's another thing niggas are expected to do over women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're, we're expected to get snipped versus them tying their tubes, yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Right? Let's say you go to get snipped and the doctor tell you, it ain't even no point. You Y'all, sterile you as fuck. Yep. And you've been sterile. Yep. Damn. Now what? And you got them kids. Yep. And you and you find out, you know, I'm like, what do you mean? I got three kids. What I'm you walking mean I'm in the crib. I'm tell you right now what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk in her. I'm gonna walk in the crib. And be like, whose kids are those? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go sit on the couch. I'm gonna have her make me dinner. I'm gonna eat dinner. Sit the kids at the table. <laughs> Look at these little motherfuckers for a little while. I'm like, I knew you wasn't my chick. <laughs> Who the fucking fuck is kids your daddy? Are you? 
Then I'm gonna look at her and I'm gonna be like, bitch. <laughs> Whose fucking kids are these at my table right now? She'll be like, what is yours? And I'm going to slam that motherfucker on the table. And be like, bitch, I've been fertile for fucking 15 years, bitch. These little motherfuckers need to get the fuck out tonight. Man. Hey. Hey. What? Bro. Because <laughs> the kids can go from kid to neighbor very fucking quick. Hell Real yeah. quick. Like, I hate to have I'm sorry. sorry. Bro, what? I just spent so much money at the ODJ, bro. Probably possibility of all the arguments we done went through about the kids, too. Yep. Bro, respectfully. What? Hey, and that's. Bro, that would have been the biggest sigh of relief in my life. I would have been like, damn, I don't know what you about to do, but you ain't about to stay here the rest of the <laughs> hey, night. I'll tell you that. Hey, bro. When I have my kid DNA check right then in there, I don't give a damn how you feel. God. Man. I don't blame you, bro. For it, brother. Yeah, I hear you. My, uh, when when my son was first born, my dad was heavy on that. He was like, "Bro, you gotta get a DNA test." Mom Dukes is on my ass. Yeah, my was too. I didn't do it. Me neither. And mm-hmm. within like a week of this nigga being born, I ain't gonna cap to you, bro. When when he was first born, you mm-hmm. know, like everybody cry. Everybody was in my ear telling me I need to do that shit. So I didn't even really cry, bro. I'm looking yeah. at the little nigga look oh, like God. a monkey. I'm like, <laughs> oh God, because I'm cute as fuck. So. <laughs> All right, and then uh, you know after a few days after because yeah. you know when a when a baby come out they don't they look have to, right mm-hmm. yep and now little nigga my he twin boy like we ass. got the same colic exactly you know what I'm saying same he smile, do the same eyes, he do the everything. same shit bro. God and yeah. he a, he's a Riz guy <laughs> Riz guy oh, he about to cause problems he about to be sneaking the major problems in. major problems <laughs> nah, that'd be going crazy you be kids like who's that major <laughs> problems making a sandwich shorty at McDonald's the other day was like. He is cute. So I just went ahead and upgraded y'all fries to large. I'm like, <laughs> shorty, the fries. Oh, he's six. Hold on now. Chris Hold on now. He's six. Chris Hansen. <laughs> Hold he's on sitting now. He's like, with the, the two gap in his teeth, Mr. T. What? You know that nigga missing his teeth, happy as shit. Man. I couldn't. But, I just, but yeah, I couldn't imagine that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Coming home, finding out. 15 Kids years 15 years You mm-hmm. going to soccer games Parent teacher conferences Cause like I know I be on here saying I don't wanna know But bitch if them ain't my kids You better fucking tell Boy. me immediately. Facts though Like cause we can move on We can make it cordial too If you tell me the sooner the better Right The, 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 more, the longer yeah. you wait Like the worse it's gonna be yeah. Cause like I'm telling you right now You ain't like Possibly I done bought everything Cause you living with me yep. So you ain't about to leave With no clothes Like y'all about to be Walking out of this house naked yeah. I'm not joking Honestly. Like <laughs> if the kids ain't mine, and you've been playing me for all these years, bro. That's to go. You had to tell somebody that the kid ain't mine. Yeah. Oh yeah, the best friend getting fired on. <laughs> oh, <too>. oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Like respectfully, oh, like yeah. you just played me for sixteen years. These motherfuckers almost eighteen. They yeah, got bro. two more years to be the adults. Is, the thing is, the women who get you know upset about this, you the one who doing it. Right. You the one who hiding something. Like, there needs to be a. There needs to be a. A law for that. Yeah, that, yeah that's they should. Like, I gotta get paid back for that. Like, I didn't yeah. put all this bread in. Like, they, I don't have to take you to court and you don't have to give me back. I'm suing you for that. I should be yeah. able to sue you. Like, it make definitely be a make me into yeah. the dummy. Like, yeah, this is your kid. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying that he's not mom. I'm just. I want to make sure. The God damn it. Right. All right. Yeah. Like, Hell no. Like, I, I don't know you what you've been doing. You did this to me. The only. The only like. The only situation where I feel like I'd be like, eh, that's all right, bae. As if my bae was Lola Wood outside of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe Cardi B, too. Because I don't, I don't know if y'all seen Offset post that video of her doing the ass mm-hmm. on his lap. No, she but always she, be posting it all the time, though. She always be yeah. shaking it. That yeah. motherfucker so jiggly wiggly, boy. <laughs> Man. Whew. Dude, fuck, Mary kill. Iggy, Cardi, and Meg Thee Stallion. Kill Meg Thee Stallion. <laughs> That was quick. <laughs> that was real quick. I think he had to think about it. You know why he, he said, said kill me? Free Tory. Free Tory. <laughs> oh, my oh, mother. Oh, dog. That's why I said kill her immediately. Oh, Free Tory. Free Tory. <laughs> Tory. He's in my story oh, yesterday. Dog. Free Tory on oh, dead dogs. But kill Meg Thee Stallion. Ooh. I'm going to I'm gonna fuck Cardi and I'm going to marry Iggy. Facts, same, yeah, same product for Iggy's me. Iggy's just different, bro. I'm going to switch those two. 
She did But you killing Meg though? I gotta kill Meg. Free tour. She bad, but I gotta kill you. You did my boy dirty. I don't like her laugh either. I don't like her laugh either. Oh god, she gotta laugh like you. Hey, I want to whoop these niggas ass out of the box. They get on my neck. Yeah. Stop violent. All right, let's stop violent. Let me stop violent. Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll fuck Cardi. Uh, nah, come on a second. Cause I seen Cardi cooking for Offset. I don't know if Iggy can cook. Mm. I, I gotta know if you can if you can burn before. See, the thing is though, I wouldn't even need Iggy to cook, cause she got enough ass for me to eat. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh, I swear God. to God, oh, please, God, bro. Nah, like you bugging. I'm Hell just. No. I rather have her just lay there all day, butt ass naked. I'll that's, just be like, damn, bro. I walk around every time, see her every now, get a glimpse. I'm like, damn, bro. bro that's my wife right there. Swear to God, like, just damn. imagine the ripple off that boat. Yeah, the submarines go here. <laughs> go bring that niggas back. <laughs> niggas in the heavens gonna hear that shit. <laughs> Them niggas should have known. They should have just. They should have just told Iggy go stand out there knee deep in that water. Let me oh, slap shit. that motherfucker. And the ripples that come off it going back down. It would have been like, damn, what was that? <laughs> we know where we're going. Man. On the sonar beep. <laughs> that fucking. Oh, that shit crazy. Ooh, Man, where we at with it this weekend, though, kid? Sheesh. Obviously, CWS still. Oh, yeah, you know, we got another. Mm-hmm. We're going to definitely be at CWS. Um, pretty much right now, it's an open field, you know. Yep. Um, Bar 39, they getting upgrades. Everything about to be changed up in there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, T told me, uh, like, a new little thing they're going to put on the wall, which I think is going to be a hot spot for photos, mm-hmm. especially for y'all ladies. I'll tell them. I'm not telling y'all yet. Mm-hmm. Um you know, things going to look a little different in there, but we know we still got a little deal going on. So, mm-hmm. you know, shout out to Bar 39. Definitely so. shout out to Bar 39. Understand yes, that, uh, you know what I'm saying, we we love popping out there. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's the hottest spot in the city. Yeah. Obviously, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, with with the Cosworth series and everything going on, now things are kind of a little. You know, we, just, have to, we have to do a little networking. Right. It's yeah, just for a week. We to off a little bit. It's yeah. just for a week, yeah. but mm-hmm. we'll be back. That's oh, our we'll spot, though. That's our vibe, though. Yes. You know, that's home right now. Yeah. Yep. You know? Always yeah. with the good music, the drinks yeah, be fire. Yeah, yep. people cool, atmosphere cool. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? DJ Vontae, I need you there every week. <laughs> Bro, that's when it be hot. Talk, Jesus, tell, be hot. tell, tell Vontae we are getting this fucking pool party in order Facts. immediately. Mothers, another yes. Freak Nick coming soon too, right? Yep, July, July first, Freak Nick. You know what I'm saying? The boys may be out, you know, out of out of pocket, but you know, kid might. Sneak out that family reunion. Kid might bring out the camera and start filming some. Hey. <laughs> I'm little movie. Little movie. Hey, for real. It's just so. a little movie coming. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, always a movie. You know, oh, we're going we to drop a movie oh, tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you going to drop a movie tomorrow morning? Hey, and I oh, got yeah. deleted, oh, deleted yeah. scenes on that movie. Boy. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wish I was fucking there. Man, yeah, you will. That you shit gave me the shipping me timbers. Hey, for real. Seeing all that ass, <laughs> man. I know I'm about to get in trouble for this one. <laughs> hey, for real. Uh, yep, damn. Hey, for real. And then another quick shout. Um, July 15th again. Throwbacks. Lil Meech will be there. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All black party. Make sure y'all get y'all VIP reservations. She still got pay admission. You know what I'm saying? The city boys don't though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what. You, but that's what happens when you connect it. Oh my but, God. But be there. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all. Y'all. Y'all hood, hoodlums are gonna want to be there. Up. Oh yeah, for real. Hey, hey, R.P. Kobe, you know? Oh, God. Yeah, man, but, you know, before we wrap this shit up real quick, I just want to say, ladies, this is the last weekend of the CWS. Mm -hmm. It's the last time everybody in the city going to be out and about. Mm -hmm. Let's show out this weekend, please. Sundresses. Please. Please. The jiggly wiggly I'll get y'all a drink. Man, like, come on, he'll Drinks get y'all a kid. drink. Drinks on kid, you heard and I fuck with y'all. I talk with y'all. Exactly. Talk to y'all. Ask y'all a couple questions. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can that ask combo. me any type of questions y'all want. Yep. Shit. When, you, when y'all pop out, man, make sure you fuck with us, the city boys. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Great, great to be back. I missed it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was out mm-hmm. in the mountain. We on yes, the playground. Yeah, we on the playground. Yes, you know sir. What I'm and you know, city, 
City. City. <laughs> but shit, man. Anyways, you two, appreciate y'all tuning in yes, to true. another City Boy podcast. We, we up, up, we up, we up. up. <laughs>